This is the Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Autobot Super Spy RC TA number 12 by Takara Tomy. This is the Japanese release version of the Transformers Animated Deluxe Class RC. And if you if you guys have been watching me for a long time, you will remember that I did sort of a review of this figure back in the old FX France channel. But it wasn't really that much of a review. It was more of a comparison review with the Hasbro version. Uh, I'd sold off my entire animated uh, collection. I didn't want to sell some of the pieces, but um, a fellow collector wanted the entire set, didn't want any missing pieces here and there. So I had to let it go. Back then I needed the funds and uh, you know, big regret just selling off uh, my RC figures. And I have been meaning to repurchase this figure. Luckily, I went to a local toy, sort of like a toy fair or a toy convention called the Toy Palooza. And a hobby shop, the organizer actually, was selling this figure, mint in on sealed card. Uh, I gave it for a good price, gave it for about $36. I remember back then I purchased this figure for about 40 bucks, and then I sold it off for something like 25. The, the value was about $25 when I sold off the entire set. So $36, not too bad. Just really, really happy to have this figure once again. And here is animated RC out of packaging, and the figure is still gorgeous to this day. It still brings back a lot of memories, man. Animated was one of the first lines I really, really collected together with the Transformers the move, Transformers movie, the first movie from the Bayverse films. And man, lots of nostalgia with this figure. I really liked, I loved the animated look, that whole cartoony stylized look of the Transformers figures. Man, I wish I could, I kind of wish I didn't sell off my entire animated collection, but you got to do what you got to do back then, right? Anyway, the figure looks amazing. It's not as cartoon accurate as the Hasbro version. This is a more, uh, it's a deeper shade of pink compared to how she looked like on the show. Uh, if you remember, she was, she had this amnesia. She was a spy and she couldn't remember what happened to her. Anyway, uh, but the aesthetic, the sculpt is very, very similar to how she looked like on the show. Now, she does come with spoilers and this these spoilers work best in alt mode so there's an option to remove them but if you want to keep them on the figure even in robot mode there is yeah there is that option as well. So having those uh, spoilers just increases the size of the backpack and uh, it, it detracts from the proper aesthetic of RC. She also comes with two Energon swords which are pretty neat. You can store them here uh on, on her sort of backpack and this is also where they're going to store in alt mode but they don't stay in place they they're a little floppy they it's very loose so i would advise you doing that articulation for the figure she's got a ball jointed neck lots of range of motion look at that she's got a waist swivel mostly because of transformation. She's got a ball jointed shoulders, also a hinge right here because of transformation. Ball jointed elbows. She's got a forearm swivel instead of a wrist swivel. The hips are on ball joints, like a thigh swivel. You got a hinge knee. Uh, there's another hinge right here because of transformation, but that's not really part of the proper articulation. Uh, the feet you can go down, point down, up a little bit. And she has sort of like a rocker tilt or the rock or toe tilt as far as paint apps goes man these were the glory days of hasbro when they had no not a lot of issues with the white paint apps and paint apps are just spot on uh for this figure i i love it i mean despite not being as show accurate as the hasbro version i love this this treatment uh the only concern that i have is the white plastic and you can already see right here because of age, this is an old figure. It's starting to yellow. Uh, it's already an off-white color and I reckon after a few months in the bin, I guess it's going to turn yellow. Let's do some comparisons. Uh, here we have Animated RC with, from the left, uh, we have the Studio Series Bumblebee Movie RC, 
We've got the Takara Tomy Legends Thrilling 30 RC. We've got the Studio Series 86 RC. And finally, we have the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Earthrise or Kingdom RC. Man, ah, she still looks great compared to all these RC. And in fact, I think she has one of the better compressions of that backpack. And part of me wishes that I wish Hasbro could just get all the the good elements of each of these RC figures and, you know, somehow finally give us the G1 styled uh, RC that we deserve because they've, they've gotten a lot of RC figures out there and each one has their own pros and cons, uh, but they haven't actually quite nailed the perfect RC for the Generations collectors. Transformation, you want to set the accessories off to the side. We can begin with the arms. Go ahead and fold up the shoulders all the way up to her neck. Just make sure that it stays up all the way underneath her neck. And then the, the arms are going to rotate this way, the hands. And you're sort of going to pose her in like she's covering up her face like this. Just fold down the windshield and then these bits right here the backpack you know just rotate them like this and they're going to tab onto the fists and just collapse and form the rear end of the car okay and then you want to rotate this entire top assembly and then my bad these things <laughs> should be rotated this way they're like space fillers for that that gap right there Okay, and then the windshield, you wanna leave it propped open. Okay, the legs, you want to rotate them this way. The feet, rotate this way. The shins, you wanna fold them out. And you wanna collapse the legs like this. Just tab them together. Make sure it's a Tab them tightly, okay? And then the, the feet are gonna nestle just underneath the windshield and the windshield is gonna close. There is animated RC in her Cybertronian alt mode. She rolls amazingly well. I miss, I really miss this kind of wheel assembly where every wheel is riveted in. You get a smoother roll in alt mode. Pretty cool. And then, like I said earlier in the video, you can pop on the spoilers and then the swords are gonna slot in on the back and you can complete the transformation. So very, very nice. I still love this alt mode. For comparison in alt mode, here we have again, Kingdom or Earthrise RC together with Studio Series Bumblebee Movie RC. And again with Studio Series 86 RC as well as the Takara Tomy Legends Thrilling 30 RC. And here are all of them once again in one glance. Definitely one of the best RCs I've seen is this animated RC. Definitely in the top three, I think. It's this one's still number one. This would probably be number two. She would be number three, number four, and number five. Some final thoughts on this Transformers animated Takara Tomy version of the Autobot Super Spy RC. I absolutely still love this figure to this day. It's going to get a 10 out of 10. I'm just so happy that I have her once again. If I find the Hasbro version, you know I'm going to pick up that figure as well. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Transformers Animated TA number 12 Autobot Super Spy Deluxe Class RC by Takara Tomy. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.